about to see you've probably never seen on YouTube before. Hi, my name's Scott, this is Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Dublin. Today we're on the hunt to find 7 Ira. What is 7 Ira? Good question. If you live in the UK, you've probably never heard of 7 Ira. If you live in the Republic of Ireland, you might have heard of it. If you live on the south side of Dublin, you probably have heard of it. All I'm going to tell you at the moment is, it's 30 metres wide, 7 metres high, and it's a one of a kind. But first, I have to find my way to Connolly Station and catch the dark train to Killiney. Killini, or as the onboard announcement pronounced it, I think it was Killani, something like that, somewhere in between. Okay, what we need to do is to get across this railway line onto the beach and then walk up the shore around about 500, 700 metres, something like that. Can we do it though? I just got a glimpse of Seven Ira. It's away on that headland over there. Unless you know what to look for, you'll never see it. But that's where we're heading. This is a nice spot. This little path is definitely sketchy. Let's see where it goes. Hopefully, it crosses the railway line. Aha! That was not what I wanted to see. Hey ho, there must be another way over that railway line or under it. I guess that's what happens when you rely on Google Maps too much. Okay, back to the railway station. Not sure where this goes. I guess there's one way to find out, isn't there? It looks a bit promising. At least we'll cross the railway line, that's the first hurdle. And in case you're wondering, yes I do have a map. Printed from Google, funnily enough. But I think we're heading in the right direction. We're heading uphill, that is the plan. Because there's a lookout. And I want to see if we can see Seven Ira from there. 
Wow, there are some seriously impressive houses up here. Not only are the houses impressive, but the actual gardens are impressive as well. Very nice. I don't really know where I'm going, but as long as I keep heading upwards, I must come to the highest point and hopefully the lookout, which should be up there somewhere. Oh, I always seem to be climbing hills on these videos. I can talk to you now. I've been waiting to get to a sheltered area because it's so windy here by the coast. Seven Ira. During World War II, there were more than 80 lookouts dotted around the coast of Ireland, roughly every 10 miles apart. Ireland was, and still is, a neutral country. And during World War II, they had these large IRA signs, which could be seen from the air. The purpose was to warn belligerent aircraft, this was Ireland, and therefore neutral territory. When US aircraft accidentally landed in the Republic of Ireland, the pilots and the crew were looked after and escorted to the Northern Ireland border. In contrast, German airmen were interned. This is the Clenny Obelisk, and from here you get a really good view of the, uh, the metropolitan area of Dublin. And according to Google Maps, just over there is the Pyramid of Dublin. And I think we need to check that out before we go down to the shore again and look for Seven Ira. Unless I'm mistaken, this is the Pyramid of Dublin. This path is heading down quite steeply, which is a good thing, and it's heading in the right direction as well. So I think we're on to a winner here. A large group of volunteers looked for the site for over five years until there was a breakthrough in 2018. They found an aerial photograph that was taken just after the Second World War, and with metal sticks they prodded the ground until they could find the stones. Plan of action. Walk along here, down these stairs and onto the beach. This is called the Cat's Ladder and it's a series of steps and it just goes down and down and down and down and down but it's heading in the right direction and if everything goes according to plan at the bottom there should be a road and a way across the railway line over to Seven Ira. Okay, we're down at the road, and I've just gotten a glimpse of Seven Ira. We're nearly there. One bridge over the railway line, and I think we're just about there, at last.
The stones are under around 30 centimetres of soil and vegetation. At one point, 60 volunteers were working on the site to uncover the stones. I don't have a drone, but other YouTubers do. And I've also got Google Earth. This is what it looks like from the sky. Well guys, that's the rain on, so that probably marks as good a spot as any to end this video. I didn't get any exceptional shots down there, but then you really need a drone to fully capture the scene. After all, it was designed to be seen from the sky, not from the land. But the purpose of the video was the adventure of finding this after seeing the location on Google Satellite View. Thanks very much for coming along with me on this adventure, and I'll see you next time.